it overboard. She's a big one too. You're on the fish hunt. Is that the eight? Yeah, that was the eight. Yeah, I didn't see any over here. Wow. What's our record so far? It was six rounds. Our morning ritual? Get the fishing lines out and clear the decks of flying fish and squid. We had squid for a while. But today we had eight flying fish. I would really like to get a shot of the schools that fly through the air, but it's really tough because we're rolling so much. Sometimes in the night they uh, don't see our boat, I guess, and they land on deck and then they die. Sorry, <laughs> I fishies. I saved a couple again last night. Did you? Yeah, one landed right in my head. Oh, gross. Day 16, it's noon and we've just done our best noon to noon run. We did 148 miles in the last 24 hours, which is pretty good for us. The sailing the last six days has just been magnificent. We've had pretty much the exact same sail setup with our twin jibs and then our main. We've been pretty much running the same heading for the last six days. The wind has pretty much been the same for the last six days, like 12 to 18 knots maybe. Average has been five and a half-ish to six. Wind and waves have been behind us, so we've had fair winds and following seas is pretty much exactly what you want. It's pretty cool that we started at 20 degrees north and to watch that go all the way down to five, it's pretty exciting. Agreed. We've done well. 16 days, six days in these beautiful trade winds. Today's the end of day six. We really haven't touched our sails for those six days. It's been really easy this last week. <laughs> We're all feeling like really ready for the next thing, like for the doldrums and for the equator and for the southern trades, but I know we're gonna really miss this because it's been really glorious. Good morning day 17 today is that right holy cannoli that's crazy anyway after a solid week of sailing in the trade winds and having nothing but sunny blue skies i woke up this morning to clouds and it looks like rain and that's exciting because it just means that we are getting closer to the equator and the itcz or the itcz or however you want to say it the doldrums so that's really cool. How are you this morning? Great, I got pretty tired. We haven't had a solid night of sleep for almost three weeks, which is hard to believe. We also have our morning carnage on the deck. Poor fish. We just woke up to dad doing our first sail change in over a week. A real sail change. I mean, we've reefed and unreefed a little bit here and there, but a true sail change. We were wing on wing for the last like week and the hope is to head more west. Yeah, I think the waypoint now to work for is just straight west. Because we are at three degrees already. Yeah, we're really teetering on the edge of the running out of wind. I, th yeah. I think another degree that way and there'll be no wind. Someone's nearby. Buddy boat's calling. Nirvana, Nirvana, this is Meraki. No, Miguel woke me doing a sail change. Where are you guys? Ready when you are. Okay, we got gotcha. you. When you're ready, we'll take down your position. We're only 11 miles apart. We're 11 miles apart and we're just slightly south of you. We're three degrees north. 41 minutes, 333 seconds, and 128 degrees west, 4 minutes, 777 seconds. 
second. I don't think we will go further south than this for a little bit. At least until I check the until weather. Until we check the weather this afternoon. Um, we're just worried that we will hit the doldrums and we don't want to hit them quite yet. We want to make a little bit more westing before we do. officially turned south or wing on wing again. We are in the equatorial current I'm now. Pretty sure we're just skirting the top around, top edge of it and we're noticing that on our track. The way it's pushing us, drifting us sideways a bit. Yeah, so we're heading due south, but we're being pulled more in a south southwest direction. So it's pretty crazy and like the sea is really flattening out, which we think must be because of the current. Yeah, I think, I don't, I don't know. know, there's big swells coming down from the the north. I'd imagine then all this water gushing would just kind of squish them and flatten them a bit. Anyway, it's really cool. We're really close to the equator now. Saturday afternoon right now, we should be there Monday, we think? My guess is Tuesday. I think Monday. The big question is, where will the doldrums start? We We're gonna hit the doldrums before we hit the equator. So depending on how early they start, that will dictate when we get to the equator. We're expecting some squally weather over the next 48 hours. I'm actually surprised we haven't had a squall yet. It is 3 a.m. I guess on day 19. We just got hit by our first real squall with like a lot of wind and a lot of rain. And so we we already knew we were gonna have a squally night, so we set up the boat with two reefs and our stay sail, which really should take us into a lot of wind. But we went and put a third reef in. We were consistently going eight knots prior to reefing. And Bentley thinks it's hilarious because I'm soaking wet. <laughs> I was sitting under the boom with the reefing line and the, it was literally like a waterfall coming off the sail onto my head. My head it's a waterfall! <laughs> I'm so... We're keeping a really close eye on our radar which is showing squall activity. In the heat of it, it was just covered in rain clouds. So this is a squall coming up. But that's nothing compared to what it was a minute ago. They sure passed quickly. You okay? Yeah! Hey, thanks! Appreciate your help there. Yeah, so the only problem with squalls is now that it's gone, we're hardly moving. So then it's like, do you shake out the reef right away? It takes us so long to reef, but the time we've reefed, the squall is gone. Yeah, it is really awkward. Cool, cool. Sorry I had to wake you. That's no problem. So just calm down, heat. Really? It was so crazy before. Wow, what a different morning. We had kind of a busy night and it's a bit of a busy day today to do. Mix kind of hand steering slash just doing a lot of sail trimming, trying to get us a little more downwind with all this. We were kind of jiving through the night, but it'd be nice to just run with it now. Our batteries are really low, so I can't really have any lights on, but we're suddenly going more where we want to go. So let's go check with the captain and see, see what he managed to do. Pretty gloomy. Um, all we're doing right now is running under a triple reef main, which is like, that's like storm. So we could have more up, but that's working. I just had to set the other preventer up. So I had to run a line forward to the bow and bring it back just so I could get the boom as 
square to the boat as possible just so the wind's pushing us because I'm trying to get the wind and waves behind us now just to make make life a little more comfortable and just with that triple reef main running down these waves we're doing about six knots the stay sails up it's doing absolutely nothing because it's blanketed by the main I don't know what to do with that I'd love to get it out on a pole but maybe we don't need that much sail out so I'm thinking I should just try and drop it Peekaboo! <laughs> My dark hole down here. <sighs> squall after squall, hey? Yeah. This one looks like it's not really having any wind. Which we would appreciate right now. Yeah. Well, it has changed the wind direction. We're heading a fair bit west right now. I can't turn anymore. How's it going, Bentley? Walking. Having fun? Yeah. Today is hopefully our equator crossing day. We're really hoping to make it there before sunset. It is day 20. It's also the equinox, which is pretty cool to be crossing the equator on the equinox. So it's like the first day of spring, but as soon as we cross into the southern hemisphere, it'll be the first day of fall. Anyway, we're having squall after squall after squall. Our current position is zero degrees north, no 39 way. minutes. Wow, I didn't know we are in the zeros. Oh yeah, we've been in the zeros for a while. Oh. <laughs> We had a slow morning and I think we panicked that we weren't going to make it to the equator today. It like poured rain and that like just killed the wind. It was really it crazy. It was really, it was pretty as just, we were just surrounded by rain. It was hammering down, there was rivers on the boat, it was fun. Then the wind filled in and I think we're going to make it to the equator today. I think We've so too. We've been flying like doing six and a half knots. It feels like it's calming a little bit now as yeah. I say that, but definitely didn't feel like doldrum sailing today. No, if someone had told me, hey, you're gonna be able to sail all the way to the equator, we're like, ha ha ha, and we have done it. Yeah, we're really close. What are we at? We're at zero degrees, 17 minutes. Pretty exciting. I don't know how many miles is that away. 15 maybe? Yeah, 15 miles away from the equator or something like that. These are the best spinnaker conditions that we've had in the crossing in over 2,000 miles, almost two and a half thousand miles. The sea state is finally calm enough. I don't know if our spinnaker is just really big or what, but when there is swell, we just cannot keep it full. It just, the wind constantly gets knocked out of it. You can see how low our spinnaker foot is to the water. I feel like when we see other people's boats, the foot is like way up there. So I don't know if it's a little oversized, doesn't matter, we love it. But we do find it needs quite a bit of wind and calm seas to run it. Last eight nautical miles to the equator. Could this be a better ending to the Northern Hemisphere? Definitely not. And what was the vote for dinner tonight, guys? Pizza. Pizza! Our special equator tacos. feast. I know you wanted tacos. We can do tacos another night soon. Tomorrow night? Maybe. What's going on down here? Pizza time! We just had pizza like, I don't know, five days ago, but it was voted that pizza was our feast for our clear crossing. I'm pretty sure no one's going to complain about that. We do love our pizza. Got but it's broken. Oh, wow, yeah! Tommy? So good? Mm-hmm. We mm -hmm. got pepperoni too. Yeah. Pepperoni and tomato for us. You're all polywogs right now. What do we become, Bentley? Shellbacks. Guys, this is exciting. It is. 39. At 15, you gotta put it to idle, okay? Yeah. 
Your stroke. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, 6, 4, What happened? 5, 4, 3, 2, Here's to you, Neptune. Who is that boarding our boat? It is I, King Neptune. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming me to your vessel. <laughs> know ye that on this day, 20th of March 2023, SV Meraki, bound for Marquesas, French Polynesia, from Mexico, has appeared within my royal domain at latitude 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 north and longitude 130 west. Let it be known <laughs> that said vessel and all aboard have been duly inspected and passed by ourselves and our royal star down there. <laughs> this certificate is gifted to those who have been found worthy to be one of our trusty shellbacks. Thomas Coles. Thank you. Pendy Coles. <laughs> oh yeah. There's one more person here. Ah. Get him. <laughs> <That's so laughs> Three, two, one. really early hours of day 21. Yesterday we crossed the equator and we're officially in the southern hemisphere. We're motoring, we're 100% in the doldrums. It is the most beautiful night I have ever seen. The Milky Way is like so distinct and there are so many stars in the sky. I actually came outside and got like a little bit emotional. I don't know, it is so beautiful out here. And recently I have been feeling, I think we're almost three quarters of the way there. And recently I've been feeling like I really don't want this to end. It's been a really special experience. And we've just had like the most perfect passage. Crossing the equator was so fun and the kids were so proud of themselves and I'm so proud of them. Oh, it's just been like really, it's just been really, really special. Sitting by the ocean. 